Ivanka Trump has arrived at court to testify in her father's civil fraud trace tr case. Excuse me. We're now waiting for her to enter the courtroom. We know she has arrived. And a short time ago, New York prosecutor Letitia James spoke out about what she wants to hear from Trump's daughter today. And she will attempt today to distance herself from the company. But unfortunately, the facts will reveal that, in fact, that she was very much involved. We uncovered the scheme, um, and she benefited from it personally. Um, and um, Ms. Uh, Trump will do all that she can to try uh, to separate herself from this corporation. But she's inextricably tied to the Trump Organization um, and to these properties uh, that she helped secure financing for. Um, so you cannot hide from the truth and the facts will belie um, the truth and, and the evidence. And so we look forward to her testimony. Thank you. All right, so that was Letitia James, the Attorney General, speaking a few moments ago. With me now is Gwenda Blair. She's an American journalist and she is the author of The Trumps, Three Generations That Built an Empire. Gwenda, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, how are you? We're doing well. So what do you think Ivanka will have to add today, given that we've already heard from the former president and his two sons? What are you listening for when she testifies? How much distance she may or may not put between herself and her family and the Trump Organization, which is going to be a little acrobatic if she's able to, because she's inextricably involved. She was the point person on a number of deals, uh, specifically the um, conversion of the old government post office in uh, Washington, D.C. to the Trump Hotel, which was the scene of many, many events during the presidency, and the uh, financing for the Trump Doral golf course and for Trump Chicago which was the Trump uh, Hotel and Tower, it still is, in Chicago. She was very involved in those deals. And when the post office hotel in uh, DC, the Trump organization sold that off, she and her brothers both uh, profited from that. I believe she got $4 million payout. And uh, the Trump organization still pays her credit cards, manages her household staff. Um, that's still pretty close. Close indeed. And I like your word acrobatic. I'm going to use that. Um, so given your knowledge of the Trumps, and I think it's actually pretty uh, public that Trump seems to have favored Ivanka. I think we can put it that way. She was sort of the golden child. How difficult would it be for her today to take the stand? We know she was desperately trying to get out of having to testify. Um, how awkward is it for her, given her close relationship with her father? Well, after she testified to the January 6th committee uh, in the House, um, and that testimony was, a video of that testimony was shown, um, and she said, I accept former Attorney General William Barr's uh, finding that there was no fraud in the 2020 presidential election. Um, the rest of the family is still arguing that it was rigged and that Trump won and that Joe Biden did not win. She said she accepted that Trump lost. That was a pretty big gulf. Um, and her father's response after that was that, uh, she was not involved in the election, and she loved this phrase, checked out, unquote, quote, unquote. So we'll see. And we haven't seen much of her publicly um, since Trump left the White House. That's by design? Apparently, absolutely. She said, I still, I still love my father, but I am not involved in this, in uh, his political from now on, I'm tending to my role as a mother and uh, home, you know, homemaker in Florida. In fact, she said she couldn't come in her several efforts to avoid testifying today, said that she couldn't come during the school week because it would disrupt her children's, uh, you know, calendar. Um, and the judge 
said in response, I think she can afford childcare. Gwenda Blair, we'll see how things unfold today in court. Thanks so much for being with us.